Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to take a look at a question from Harold Gray, KG5NRR. And his question is straightforward. What size wire do you use to feed your ham shack with solar power from the batteries, and how long a run is it? Thanks in advance. Okay, let's uh, pull this thing out here where we can look at the whole, the whole whiteboard. This is the wire that I use uh, to come from the solar panel into the house. Uh, the solar panel that I have outside is a 250 watt 24 volt panel uh, that cost, by the way, about $225. Okay, so it's less than a dollar a watt. Panels are cheap these days. I got this from a place that does uh, industrial and residential uh, solar. It's a place in Grand Junction called At Last uh, Solar. Well, actually, it's spelled this way at last. Uh, solar. It's in Grand Junction, Colorado. That's an interesting play on the names. And since they've had so much success, they aren't playing up the weird little pun in the name. But uh, I picked it up from them and got it at, at quite a low price. If you're looking for solar panels at a low price, don't go to, oh, places like RV stores and stuff like that because they're extremely expensive to buy there. Now this 250 watt panel is designed to be mounted on a sturdy mount and not just flopping around in the dirt. Um, but uh, it's been pretty sturdy. Now this is a 24 volt panel and I should have there are and I have one that supposedly does this, but it doesn't quite work right. 24 volt in and designed to charge 12 volt of batteries. Because I run the shack on 12 volts. Okay, now my battery is, my main battery for solar is big. And, and yet the maximum that this one puts out is about 7 amps. Um, now, 7 amps times 24 volts. Um, well, I can put it... Okay, let's back up on that. Now, if I were to put in a standard solar controller here, rather than a maximum PowerPoint tracker, put in what's called a pulse width modulator, <clears throat> it will expose the battery to the entire voltage of the solar panel for brief periods of time until it gets up to a certain voltage and then it shuts it off. Now, there's a funny thing about solar panels. Solar panels are current-driven devices, okay? And that means regardless of what the voltage is over here, they're going to put out the same amount of current, not voltage. These are not like batteries that put out a set voltage and any amount of current that you want. These will put out any voltage you want while putting out the same amount of current. So... That's why you can take a 24 panel. When it is connected to the 12 volt system, this whole system assumes 12 volts or whatever the battery is. Some numbers for the battery, 12.0 is discharged. 12.7 uh, rested. In other words, uh, with no sun on it, like, you know, nine or 10 o'clock at night, 12.7 rested is fully charged. Uh, 13 point, well this one does 13.4, I prefer 13.3, but this is a trickle charge. 
Okay, and uh, because these are sealed lead acid absorbed glass mat batteries, 14.1 uh, is the max charging voltage. Okay, these are some numbers you'll see fairly often. So if I'm looking at the controller, it will most of the time in the daytime show 13.4 trickle because this system provides way more energy than I use in the ham shack. Now in the ham shack itself, I have a wire from this battery over to a small 12 volt battery that I call my repeater battery because this is directly under the desk and the 7300 is on top of it and it needs to get up to about 21 amps of current coming up through here okay now this is where you lose uh, power if, if I were to run those wires all the way to here I would not get the full uh, effect of the power because there would be ohmic losses in the wire now he asked what wire I use this is the wire that runs from the panel to the um, charge controller to the battery is this this is 14 gauge um, red black zip cord uh, 14 gauge it's stranded uh, and it's got a hundred feet of it and I got this from www.bulkwire.com okay and this is what I use now the the I'm using the ham radio convention for 12 volts which is black equals uh, ground or zero volts okay and red I don't have a red pen do I well red equals positive 12 or whatever one of these voltages is in here now since I run only 14 gauge wire from here and the total run the panel sits right outside here the total run because it has to go under the house and so on is is less than 20 feet now if you look up how much power is lost in here what's lost remember ohmic causes a voltage drop not a change in the current but a voltage drop now it can act as a resistor and lower the current but what happens is that this panel is trying to be 24 volts so I'm not losing any current here because the system is running at uh, 12 volts okay so 14 gauge 14 gauge 14 gauge over to here now the radio itself I believe is actually about 14 gauge down to the battery that's right underneath it that's going to draw 21 amps and when you put that much current through 14 gauge wire it might even be 12 gauge wire uh, the ampacity of 12 gauge wire will give you the, the 20 amps um, there is a minimal voltage drop there okay now when I power little things I tend to use this wire right here that I picked up at a ham fest and this is um, 18 gauge 18 gauge bare copper well it's not bare copper it's 100 feet red black zip cord okay operating temperature to 75 C that's pretty hot I think I paid 22 bucks for this roll copper is expensive these days but this you can also use with the Anderson power pole connectors and have good connection with it because I have from the battery also comes to a, a distribution a fused distribution center that uh, is some place that I can connect in whatever it may be that uh, I am connecting in. We've got ample 
uh, sockets for for doing that so I hope that answers your question I got 14 gauge here now if you're really trying to squeeze everything out of that panel you may want to go like 12 gauge or even 10 gauge but 14 gauge works for me this part of the system is not the part that is stressed the part of the system that is stressed is from the 12 volt repeater battery up to the 7300 because that can go up to 22 amps or so and I've got the repeater battery so that the voltage will stay up whereas if I ran it all the way to where I have the 12 volt batteries on the other side of the room here you actually lose enough voltage that you don't get the full 13.8 volts into the the receiver so I let's see if I've answered your question yes how long a run is it not terribly long about 20 feet these runs here are about eight feet and then the run from here to here is uh, just the length of the cable that came with the 7300 if it were an issue I could shorten the cable but it's not okay now if you've listened this far in the video I'd like to invite you to subscribe subscribing tells YouTube that you think this video is worth sharing with other people and I would like to also invite you to like the video and share it and also if you would like to support this channel financially you certainly can do so by going to decastlercom support which offers a variety of ways to support the channel and maybe one of them will appeal to you you've got the opportunity for a one-time tip through uh, PayPal um, a recurring subscription through PayPal or Patreon um, which uh, is one of my favorite ways because it's easiest to deal with and uh, there is also a uh, thumb drives for sale for the tech journal and extra videos if you find it more convenient to work from a thumb drive rather than uh, work uh, online on YouTube so um, there you have it until we next meet 73